Man, it's been a, a long week. I haven't even gotten the chance to sit down and think. But thank you to everyone that voted. Know that your voice is important. But I know what y'all are here to see. That's the Barfa Bar Weekly. It is the Barfa Bar Weekly for the week of November 6th, 2020. And not a lot of stuff happened in hip-hop. But, I mean, we gotta distract ourselves somehow from election stuff, I guess. So, here we go. Well, I guess going straight into it, because I mentioned the election. Um, I guess everyone's just making fun of the little pump, because Trump brought out, uh, brought out one of his uh, most recent supporters, in terms of the rap game, and introduced him as Lil Pimp. So, uh, yeah, Lil Pump's name is now Lil Pimp. And uh, if you're still listening to him, what the hell is wrong with you? Moving on. Uh, Spotify has announced that they're running, a, uh, I guess, a new program for artists. Well, mostly labels, you could say. So what is going to happen is they're allowing labels to forego full payment of royalties in exchange for placements. Uh, basically, they'll give them more exposure as long as they get paid less. This is basically the equivalent of someone hitting you up on Instagram for your art and saying, oh, I ain't gonna pay you. I'm just gonna post about it and give you exposure. That's how that works, right? Anyways, it's gonna be an issue later on rather than now because labels are gonna be like, hey, you trying to get plays? Well, f sucks. You ain't gonna get paid yet. So you're either, gonna go, you're either gonna get paid and have no one listening to you or you gonna get paid a little bit less. Um, in reality, reality is probably gonna be a lot less and people are gonna know your name. Maybe. Spotify is pulling some some bullshit, really, honestly. Like, what the fuck? Like, come on now. I know I use Spotify to host the podcast and everything, but come on, fuck y'all. That is fucked up. Sorry, explicit warning, I guess. And the last bit of major news comes from this morning, unfortunately. So, King Von, who's a fairly fairly new rapper, I'd say, he's gotten gained a lot of popularity. I personally haven't listened to him yet because I've just been busy, but I was legitimately going to listen to him today because I saw people talking about him yesterday. And so anyways, what had happened was, early this morning in Atlanta, he and two others were shot and killed. Rest in peace to King Vaughn and the other two uh, of his friends, really, that were there and died. This is... It's hard because there's so many newer artists that are, like, just about to, like, just on the verge of popping off and then they're gone before their time. And it just really fucks me up, bro. Like, I didn't get a chance to listen to him, so I don't know his music and his story, but others have, and everything I've seen has just been so sad. And it's just... I don't know. I don't know if there's anything that we can do about this, anything that we can change, but... I really hope there is. Like, we need to figure something out. Um, anyways, moving on from that, uh, music came out this week, but not a whole lot of it. Um, first up, Nav and Wheezy dropped Emergency Tsunami. Uh, Gigs dropped Now or Never. Video Dave dropped Hella Personal Film Festival 2, which is a follow-up to Oh My Eagles uh, Film Festival. And Recognize dropped Pressure Point. So... In terms of music, it's been light this week. I mean, there's been a lot of other stuff happening, so it's not surprising. 
But that's all I got. Let me know in the comments below if I missed anything or missed anything in terms of music because I'm sure there's more out there that I, I just couldn't find. Um, also, like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and please stay safe out there.